In this video, I finally got a hold of a set of Indomitus Necrons. So I have been fiending to get my hands on an Indomitus box, but unfortunately when it came out, I couldn't afford it. Luckily, I found someone who was trying to offload a copy of the Indomitus Necrons. So I jumped on it. And this is my color scheme. So to get the initial scheme, uh, or the initial setup here, I airbrushed everything, or I primed everything black. I airbrushed a mix of Vallejo aluminum and phthalo blue, and then I sprayed that all over the model. And then I used a straight phthalo green and sprayed that from the bottom. Now, after I got that done on all the models across the board, I went back and I put Drakenhof Nightshade or a purple wash on all of them. Now on this guy, the Kenoptek um, Reanimator, I used a purple wash because I, I really like, I, I know a lot of people say that this unit is not very useful on the board, but I really like the way it looks. So I really wanted to paint it up, make it look kind of nice. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm actually putting on some um, edge highlighting and damage and I'm using Grey Knight's Steel to do this. Now, um, the Grey Knight's Steel is a very, very stark contrast to what I've got down, but for battle damage and all that, I still wanted that light bluish color. Uh, my original idea was to have kind of an OSL effect going. But with the wash on it, it actually ended up looking really good as a sort of alien two-tone metal. So I've decided I'm just going to keep it like this, and I'm not going to go back over the Thalo Green to do an OSL effect. I'm just going to edge highlight them, you know, do a couple of details, and make it look pretty good. So sit back and enjoy watching me do a buttload of edge highlighting.
So for this step, I used some black Templar and I just quickly did the edges of the uh, some of the wires coming off of them. And uh, this is what everything looks like so far. Unfortunately, my camera stopped recording. So I used a Reaper, a Reaper Purple, Orc Blood, and Warlock Purple to color the orbs. But I didn't catch it because I forgot my camera will only record for so long at a time. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using a mix of green skin along with scaled hide and kraken skin to do a sort of uh, glowing green effect on some of these tubes. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I kind of want a little bit of contrast between what is on the model and everything else so I don't want everything to be these blues and purples and kind of light greens I just wanted to sort of break up that monotony a little bit and put things together with uh, a little bit of contrast so what I'm gonna do is uh, I am putting on that dark green and then I'm gonna go over a smaller section in the scaled hide and then an even smaller section in the Kraken skin and I'm also mixing some of the color as well to sort of get everything meshed together and that's that's what the current step is Now, this is what it looks like before I take the next step. It's, it's not bad, but we need something to kind of unify all of the colors. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pick a color to go over top of it. Now, originally, I was going to use a wash, but what I decided to do was actually use uh, the contrast plague bearer flesh and paint that over top of it because not only does it throw green in there but it gives it an almost slightly yellow tinge and honestly i think it looks really good that way the last step that i'm doing here is i'm putting the uh, floor purple it's like a, a violet glowing color from green stuff world and i'm putting that over all of the orbs to give them sort of a glowing effect now, I'm going to repeat this process for all of my Necrons. Uh, I've done the Warriors, I've done a couple of the Command Units, but this is what it looks like. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for your... Even watching is, is a, a lot of support, and I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, like and subscribe.